Hello and welcome everyone to the O'Keefe Center here at, here at Salem State. My name is Dawson Berry and thank you for joining us here on Swampscott Big Blue Athletics. And we have a great NEC matchup here as the Swampscott Big Blue are taking on the Maskinama Chieftains at home as they look to stay perfect with only their second game at home. A lot has happened with the Big Blue since the last time you saw or we saw you live here on Big Blue Athletics with a thrilling last second win from the Big Blue against Boston Latin Academy. As over the holiday break, they won their Christmas tournament, defeating Lynn and Rockport on back-to-back -back nights to bring the trophy back home to Swampscott High. Then they went on the road for an out-of-conference matchup against the strong Essex Tech Hawks, being defeated 5-2. They're at 4-2 as they look to get back on track here at home versus Masco. Ronan Locke has been the star of the Big Blue to begin the years. He's potted seven goals and four assists, bringing him to a team lead 11 points. The most efficient line for the Big Blue has been the second line of Dakota Langevin, Derek Fea, and Will Roddy, as they have accounted for 10 goals and 24 points total in the Big Blue's first six games. As for Masco, they come in at 3-2 and two with Joe Young being their leading point point scorer with six as Masco is a very balanced lineup with not just one guy or even a single line that stands out on the stat sheet. They're coming off an OT win against Dedham at home. We will be right back.
And we are ready to play some hockey here at the O'Keefe Center in the Rocket Arena. The first line will begin for the Big Blue as it is left to right. Going to be Ronan Locke, Aiden Sprague, and Jackson Bartram with the D pair of Frank Papalardo, fr brother of the starting goaltender tonight, Dominic Papalardo, and his D partner is Zach Ryan. So two captains starting tonight. As... We are just about set for puck drop. Jack Mertz draws it up with Aiden Sprague, and Sprague wins the draw, but the puck immediately given away by Popolardo, passed in front off the skate of a big blue defenseman, and goes all the way down to the left of Sac or to the right of Sacco. Cam Giuliano tracks it down in the corner, and Mertz will take it from him. Masco looking for a clean or exit out of their own zone. They cannot get it as Ronan Locke is battling in the corner for it. Masco retains possession in the far corner. Locke attempting to keep it in the zone, cannot. And Weitzman has it on the right wing. He's going to look for a shooting angle. That shot is blocked by Zach Ryan. Puck gets thrown around. Bartram gets a stick on it. Pops all the way in front of, Buffa of Papalardo. Sprague now controls it for the big blue. Sprague takes it down the left wing and dumps it in and will go for a chain. Sacco plays it behind his own net. Ronan Locke with a big hit. He takes the puck backhand shot. Save made by Sacco and he covers. Nice play made by Ronan Locke who, has, who delivered the big hit and ended up getting the shot on goal. As he exits to the bench, 13.47 to go in the first period. The big blue are tied up as the second line. Faya takes the draw, wins it to Landrevane. Now swinging it behind the net. And Roddy takes it away at the dot, throws it wide. Landrevane battling for it as it comes out to Max Conley. Joe Young, the leading points man for the, for the Chiefs. Now EJ Elkington dumps it to the right corner, to the left of Papalardo. Landrevain battling for it on the left boards. Faya trying to clear. Landrevain finally does no icing and they'll go for a change. Roddy is on the puck. But Masco retains the possession. Anthony Cerboni trying to get it to the neutral zone, and he does. And dumped around by Brady Ford. And kept in initially as Hitchcock trying to clear the zone. Cannot. It's off a state of a Masco defender. And a breakaway shot goes wide. Papalardo had him all the way. Battling for it on the left boards is Greg Valdrikoff, and he gets the clear to center. Gre Greg catches the puck and now drops it onto a stick as he takes it on a rush to the, down the left side. Cannot get to the outside as he is blocked off. Papalardo collects in front of his brother. Valdrikoff. Throws it through the slot. Dangerous pass, but it makes its way through the Masco stick. Fitzpatrick can't control it. Spray out there with the third line. And now they'll get the first line back on as Ronan Locke enters. A good hit by Sprague in the corner. Freeze the puck. Papalardo plays it. Sprague chips it along the boards looking for an outlet. Can't find one. Joey Pilot's out there now. Or excuse me, Aiden Fitzpatrick's out there with the first line. Now puck thrown in front. Nobody home for the Chiefs as Ronan Locke gets the clean entry. He's going to take it into the zone himself. One on three, looking for a shooting lane. Tries to make a move around one. Cannot get it through. He's still battling for the puck, but it is finally taken away by the Chiefs. With Will Shannon, he clears it down into his own net. 
Ben Merrill fighting for it. Merrill in the corner. Throws it in front, chipped away by Zach Ryan, gets it to the corner. Popolardo cannot clear it away. Sprague tries to clear it, fans on it. And Jack Mertz gets possession, flips it just too far for his defenseman to keep it in. Delayed offsides as Masco has to tag up. Ryan looking for his D-man just a bit too far, and it's thrown back in by Mertz. Ryan gets it to Locke, who taps it to Bartram. Up the middle, trying to get it to spray. Gets his stick lifted, but gets it deep. He'll go for a change. And the puck is all the way past Tolosa. In pursuit is Brady Ford, but Hitchcock gets there first. Hitchcock gets it ahead to Roddy. Roddy gets it to Landrevain, and they enter the zone. Landrevain lost the puck initially. Faye gets it back, looking for a pass. Throws it behind his back through the slot. Looking for Roddy and Ford gets it to his defenseman behind the behind Sacco. Tolosa controls it in the neutral zone. Faye had a tag up, so he couldn't chase it. E EJ Elkington to his D man. Brady Ford with a nice self pass around the boards, but it's going to go for an icing as it was behind the red line, and the Big Blue will get a change. As we have 9.33 to go in the opening frame, and it's still 0-0. As no, neither team with a real threatening chance besides the one minor breakaway for Masco that went wide. As we get the third line, Hurley, he will take the draw. Hitchcock keeps it in with his glove. Puts it back in deep. Cam Giuliano. Gets it to Will Carey eventually through the neutral zone. A nice tape-to-tape -tape pass on the right wing. Pat Shot goes well out of play. Attempted by Michael Berrigan on the right. So Shannon, Carey, and Berrigan out there for the Chiefs. Berrigan, uh, Ford, with, sorry, Carey wins the draw. Sprague intercepts the pass. I mean, Hurley, sorry. Hurley clears the zone. Cheatons bring it right back in. They have to tag up. It's going to go for an offside, and the faceoff will come outside of the big blue defensive zone as they get the first line back out there. It will come to center ice. Sprague wins the draw cleanly to Popolardo. Ronan Lock taps it back to his defenseman, Ryan. Lock wins the possession but gives it away to Alan Weitzman. Witz trying to get around Ryan. Throws it in front. Nobody home for the Chiefs as Ronan Lock has it through the neutral zone. Makes one man miss. Gets into the big blue zone. Goes around. Two more. The shot just high. As a great individual rush by Ronan Locke. No shot on goal, however. Merrill can't find anyone. The pass from Spray goes into the skates of Locke. He controls it. Locke looking for room to shoot. Shoots and he scores! Ronan Locke puts the big blue on the board as he pops his eighth of the season. And... The Big Blue tip taking a one to nothing lead here early with 8.05 to go in the first period. Beautiful start for the Big Blue as Ronan Locke, what a shift he just had. As he puts the Big Blue on the board and they lead one to nothing here at home. Bartram and Sprague with the assists. Papalardo gets stapled into the board, still battling for the puck. 
as it comes back out to the right point and thrown behind into the corner to Pappalardo who can't clear the zone. A wrist shot from the point gets batted down in the slot. Backhand attempt goes wide. It's still loose in the slot and Roddy will control it for the big blue. He has a two on two rush with Langevin on his right. He makes a move to the outside. Left throws it out in front. Langevin couldn't get a stick on it. Joe Young, the leading points scorer for Masco. Looking for the self pass. His lineman goes to change out. Young gets tripped up behind the net. No call. He must have just lost an edge as McCarthy picks his pocket. Hitchcock now behind the net will reset it for the big blue. Hitchcock's going to look to go around the net himself, and he does. Swiveling through the defensive zone. Fitzpatrick can't chip it ahead. It comes back into the big blue zone. Hitchcock fires it into the neutral zone. And Papalardo will take the face off in his own zone. So a strong start for the Big Blue as Ronan Locke puts them on the board with Jackson Bartram and Aiden Spray getting the assist as the first line comes through with the first period goal, 6.33 remaining in it. Swamp's got leading one to nothing. Puck thrown through the slot, tip goes wide of Papalardo. Hitchcock with a strong defensive play gets his pocket picked after it. Puck is loose in front of Papalardo and he'll take the face off as he covers with 6.17 to go in the first. Puck oscillates wide of Papalardo. Zach Ryan has it in the corner, has some trouble with it. Couldn't get his stick caught from the boards. Will Carey with a nice move behind the net, gets it to his point and it can't be handled. Fitzpatrick on the chase for it, couldn't get there. As Max Conley now dumps it in, the Chiefs will get a change with their forwards. Papalardo gets it to Greg Belgenkoff. And he dumps it in deep, trying to get the same. Hurley and Fitzpatrick change. And there goes Baljankov as the first line is back on. Pass was tipped by Sprague, but it was handled by Alan Weitzman. Pass thrown in front. Sprague with the block initially. Attempted shot. Not much of a shot goes wide by Merrill. Papalardo. Battling in the corner with Mertz. Mertz throws it in front. The one-timer goes wide. Beautiful pass there by Mertz as he found Merrill in the slot. Just missed the shot wide of Papalardo. Puck loose in front. A good shift here for the Masco first line. As it's thrown in front. Good stick by initially by Papalardo. Puck still loose. And Locke mercifully clears it away. And it will go for an icing. The Chiefs thought they had a goal there, could not squeeze it across as the attack from Merrill Mertz and Weitzman did not end up with a goal as the Big Blue survived the rush. Papalardo not letting one get by him as we have all fours on the time clock. 4.44 to go in the first. Swamp's got leading one to nothing on the goal by Ronan Locke, his eighth of the season. Masco wins the draw. As the shot from the right point gets tipped by Hitchcock and Papalardo makes a nice save reacting to the accidental deflection by his own teammate. Papalardo makes the stop nonetheless on the shot from Brady Ford. Young Ford and Meralt out there for Masco. As Meralt takes it to the net, shot never got through to Papalardo. It's spray is wide to the right as Roddy makes a nice play along the boards, gets it to the, through the neutral zone, could not find Langevin on the long diagonal. Ford takes it down the left side, goes middle. Good stick play by Quinn Hitchcock. Roddy can't chip it along the boards, can't get it out. Roddy can, still cannot get it out as he battles with Ford and Young. And the shot from the 
left point intentionally wide. As Masco keeps the possession in the zone. Masco playing a physical game, trying to play the body as well as they can. Langevin will go for a, sh a change as well as Faya and Roddy. Bank pass a little bit too far for James Whitman. As Fitzpatrick falls. Will Shannon behind the net. Forgets the puck. But he gets it back on the turnover. Nice save made by Pappalardo. Puck still loose in the slot. And they put it in as the attack from Masco pays off as they tie the game 1-1 one -one with 3.04 to go in the first. As the never-ending attack by the third line of Shannon, Carey, and Berrigan leads to the first goal of the game for the Chiefs. And it's 1-1 one -one with 3.04 to play in the first period. Ever since Ronan Locke's goal, Masco has all, had all the attacking zone time. Sprague trying to find Bartram. Michael Berrigan on the goal as Papalardo covers. Will Shannon and Will Carey with the assist. As we had a clock malfunction, the referees will have a conference to see how much time they're going to put back on the clock. Off the draw is a shot from Merrill. Does not get through as Sprague takes it up the left side. And he finds Ronan Locke. Locke through the neutral zone. Keeps it on his stick. Tries to take a shot. It's blocked by Max Conley. As he will clear the zone. Papalardo. Ryan loses an edge and gives the puck up. The shot is save made. By Dominic Papalardo from Jack Mertz, who got the benefit of the turnover by Ryan. So after the strong start, the Big Blue have come, come back to earth here as they look sloppy over the last five or so minutes. 2.12 to go in the first period. It's 1-1. One to one. Fayo went, ties up the draw and wins it to Roddy. Roddy's going to take it up the middle, trying to make a self-pass. Good play there on the defense by... Logan McKenna, I believe. Poke checked ahead to Langervain. Langervain trying to make a move through the big blue zone, and Sacco will have to cover. Now Gavin Dupois shoots it well wide. Thrown into the slot, tipped by Fayette to the end boards. Pass through the slot, nobody home. Cam Giuliano all the way behind the goal line as the defenseman.
Oh, nice move there. And the shot is save made by Papalardo. A nice save after the beautiful move by Joe Young trying to take the lead for Masco, but the glove save by Papalardo to keep this game equalized with 102 left in the period. And the shot from the point is gobbled up by Papalardo. Max Conley got the shot right off the draw, and we are under a minute in the first period. And Locke takes the puck off the faceoff. And he looks for a shot, gets it to Sprague in the middle. Save made by Sacco. Locke keeps, keeps it in. Locke takes the shot in and out of the glove of Sacco. He gets it back, throws it in front for Sprague. Couldn't get the shot off. Puck could, didn't settle on his stick. Now 30 seconds to go in the period. Pass. Off the glass is handled by Papalardo with 28.6 to go in the period. Still 1-1 one one here in the first. Good shift there by the first line to get some energy back, and they'll send out the fail line for the last 28-6 of the quarter. Of the quarter, the period. Sorry, I'm still in basketball mode a little bit. Langevin with a nice play along the boards. He gets it to Roddy. Roddy cannot get around the defenseman. Cam Giuliano with the play. He gets it to the neutral zone. And now they have a rush at Allen Weitzman. Pass across. Good play on the back check by Langevin. Six seconds to go. Masco takes control. Thrown in front. Loose in front. Still loose in front. They had a chance at it thrown through the slot. And that will end the first period as the big blue... And the Maskinomic Chieftains are tied here, one to one, as we head into the first intermission. As Bartram slaps it to Ryan off the draw, trying to find a lock, can't get it to him just a bit too far. Sprague trying to sling it into the big blue zone, cannot. And Giuliano retrieves the puck, and it's tipped in by Jack Mertz as the first line of Mertz, Merrill, and Weitzman is out there. They get it back to the left point. Giuliano looking for someone. Mertz battling for it. And it comes around Papalardo's net to Papalardo, the other one. Frankie and Dominic. Frankie, the defenseman. Dominic, the goaltender. Long diagonal passes connected on to Alan Weitzman. Pass to the center, save made by Papalardo. It pops out of his glove, but Swampscott's the first to the puck with Ryan. Passed ahead of Ronan Locke. As now, in the middle of a change, they find a shot and wide. Not sure if Papalardo got a piece of it, but it went wide nonetheless. Pass thrown in front. Fea gets, it to, gets to it first, gets it to Langevin. Roddy. Uh, collides in the middle of the ice, lost his glove, gets it nicely tapped to him by Anthony Cerboni. Now a steal in the corner by Langevin, passes it, a little, little bit of a miscommunication there by, with Roddy is that it's going to oscillate all the way in on Papalardo and he'll take the face off. Joe Young was first there for the Chiefs. Young, Ford, and Merrault out there for Masco. Less than two minutes into the second period. Tie game, one to one here. Masco takes the draw off the tie up. Joe Young circles the offensive zone. Pass tipped in front by Young. It goes just wide. Swampscott still can't clear the zone. Shot wide to the left of Papalardo. Langevin finally gets it out of the zone, but it's going to go for an icing, and both teams will change. Masco has taken control of the second period so far. 
carrying the majority of the offensive zone time. Spray can't win the draw. Or sorry, Hurley, as the third line is out there. McCarthy battling in the corner, can't control it. Pass to the point for Giuliano, throws it in front, looking for a tip, couldn't find a stick. Bouchenkoff battling, McCarthy lost his stick, shot goes wide on the stick side of Papalardo. Hitchcock makes a nice move to clear the zone. He's going to take it himself up the right side, looking for an angle to get, maybe get a shot off. Throws it in front off the stick of Sacco. It's going to come to Fitzpatrick, the shot. Save made by Sacco as Fitzpatrick got hit hard. Good save there, good attempt from Fitzpatrick as he goes for the hit back on the same guy that knocked him down. Is now Berrigan, who has the goal for Masco, throws it through the middle, can't find anyone. Baljankov's going to take it past the red line, trying to fire it in, couldn't get it in deep. Now battles for it and will, and will go for a change. Sacco plays it behind his own net. Nice steal there by Sprague, the shot and a blocker saved by Sacco. A nice one there as Sprague had the shot alone in the slot. Bartram gets on the ice now. Jason Rothwell and Ben Tolosa back for the big blue. Giuliano goes straight to the net in front. Hit Pavolato hard. As he's, Pavolato still without his stick. Puck gets cleared. And thrown out of play. 11-17 to go in the second period. 1-1 one one as Masco and Swampscott in a good one. Swampscott has gotten the last couple of chances with shots from the slot. Two blocker saves by Chris Sacco. The Middleton, Massachusetts native. Masco wins the draw. Bartram can't fully clear the zone. Puck comes through the slot looking for Mertz. It's kept in at the point by Conley. Now a shot from the left and a score as that one gets by Pop Lardo and Masco's gonna take a two to one lead as Ben Merrill gets Masco back on the board. It's two to one Chiefs with 11.01 to go in the second period. The Swamp's got big blue trail by one. Fea taps the draw to Langevin, who's going to dump it in. And Masco looking for a quick clear. It comes to the slot to Roddy. He's going to look for a shot, and it's save made by Sacco. Roddy didn't get a ton on the shot, but it save made nonetheless. Fea is going to take the offensive zone draw, wins it to Roddy, throws it in front, looking for Langevin. Comes all the way through to Sacco. And he makes a save. Delayed offsides for the big blue. They'll have to go tag up. Now Will Carey takes it through the neutral zone into the Chiefs zone. Gets it back behind the net. Ryan trying to close him off. Does it nicely but can't clear the zone as it comes back to the right point. And now a shot. Whistles wide of Papuardo. Ryan gets it to Papalardo. Papalardo looking for an outlet pass. Through Roddy, who's going to get there first? It comes towards the, the net. Looks like a big collision as nothing is called. Roddy wanted the penalty there. Now Masco trying to turn that into transition. The shot is gloved by Papalardo, and he'll take the face off. Well, Roddy with a big collision there, trying to get to the puck first, going towards the net. 2-1 Masco, 9.49 to go in the second period. Still plenty of hockey left to play as Swamp's got trails by one. Ryan Wood's going to get a shift here as Masco goes right to goal. Could not get a shot off on Papalardo as Bouchenkov makes a nice play to take it out of the zone. Gets it to Woody who taps it in. Getting a shift in place of Aiden Fitzpatrick. Yeah. 
Giuliano takes it himself, throws it in front. One-timer couldn't quite connect. Hitchcock kicks it to his stick, can't clear fully as Masco keeps it in with Giuliano on the left point, throws it intentionally wide as Moralt plays it along the right side. Valjinkov can't chip it ahead of Max Conley, who throws it in front. Excuse me, EJ Elkington is there. Now thrown behind the net. Pass back to the point to Giuliano. They can't keep it in. It's a delayed offsides. Masco's going to have to tag up McCarthy. Trying to find Woody. Can't get it out of the zone. Hitchcock with the clearing attempt. Can't get it by Carbo Cerboni. Now around the net, through the slot, Woody makes the play to clear it. No icing. Uh, Swampscott will have to attempt to get a, sh a change here, and they do with Ronan Locke and his line coming out. Hitchcock with a nice play to tap it ahead, clears the zone. Spray can't quite get to it, now in a race to it. Can't get there first. Pass tangled up in the skates as Bartram throws it through the slot looking for Locke who's just a step behind the pass. Sprague with the slap and through the slot and into the glove of Chris Sacco and they'll take the offensive zone face off of the big blue. Masco wins the all important draw in their defensive zone. They can't clear it as Sprague's still battling for it. And it's chipped out as Rothwell will play it. Gets it back in deep as Swampscott tags up. Sprague keeps it in the zone, gets it to Bartram. The floating shot is caught as he takes a dive on the hit. And they'll get an offensive zone faceoff out of it. The Faya line with Roddy and Langevainer on, as well as the D pair of Frank Papalardo and Zach Ryan. Ryan can't clear it, and now it's a two on one. The pass across, nice stick by Papalardo, knocks it into the neutral zone as Faya takes control. Faya getting his stick held behind him. No call there. Probably a clean play. As a big hit by Langevin, that's going to be a penalty. Not a good penalty by Langevin to take as he has the big hit. And the shot on the delayed call is saved by Papalardo. But Dakota Langevin will go to the box. And Masco will have the first power play of the game. It's going to be an elbowing two-minute minor. Swamp Scott will get the penalty kill unit out there. Sprague and Locke as the forwards. Ryan and Papalardo as the defensemen. Sprague wins the draw. Papalardo can't clear the zone. Sprague gets out there and clears it. Masco will have to tag up. Brady Ford gets it ahead to Joe Young. Makes a move around one. The backhanded shot and a... Just getting a piece of it was Papalardo with his shoulder. Giuliano on the left point, trying to keep it in the zone and does. The pass middle to Young. Save initially made by Papalardo and another save. And a beauty. Dominic Papalardo keeps the game 2-1 to one as he denies two chances at the net from this Masco power play unit. Hitchcock now on with Tolosa. Giuliano's going to get it on the left point. This is Cerboni looking for a tip, and he gets it from Brady Ford as he'll get credit for the goal, and it's 3-1 to one. Masco here in the second period as they have taken full control and take advantage of the Dakota Langevin penalty as it is 3-1 Masco 
on the goal, tipped in by Brady Ford off this shot from the point by Anthony Cerboni. He'll get credit with an assist as the Big Blue now with the two goal lead or deficit to climb with 6.10 to go in the second period. Cerboni takes control, Giuliano. And now a nice move to the net, all the way coast to coast save made by Papalardo. Thrown in front, looking for a fourth was Masco there. Fitzpatrick gets it to Balgenkoff. Balgenkoff takes it up the left wing, looking for an angle, throws it across the slot to no Buddy in particular, looking for the angle, couldn't find it. Logan McKenna at the left point. Thrown into the slot. Fitzpatrick pokes it away, but not all the way out. Hitchcock. Look, battling on the boards. Masco wins it away, thrown in front. S still loose as there's bodies everywhere in the middle. Fitzpatrick finally comes away with it and is going to slap it into the zone. Can't get it deep, but he stays with it and gets it in as the second line is back on. Fail with the steal by the net, throws it in front, off the pad of Sacco three times. Can't find the back of the net. Ryan keeps it in. He's going to slap it towards the net, gets a tip from Roddy, but he can't steer it towards goal. It goes wide. And now on the one-on-one -on -one rush, here comes Masco with a shot and a high shot. It's gloved by Dominic Papalardo as nothing doing on the rush by Alan Weitzman. 4.16 to go in the second period. It's 3-1 to one Masco here at the Rocket Arena at Salem State. The shot straight off the draw goes wide. Giuliano keeps it in, throws it towards goal, but it goes wide. Papalardo trying to find Ryan, could not, and it gets brought back in deep, but Faya first to the puck. Faya avoids the check, and Roddy got a piece of it, so no icing. Landry in a stick battle. Giuliano will take control of it, rot over the stick of Roddy. Roddy trying to slap it to keep it in, cannot. And now Masco with a two-on-two -two rush, trying for the self-pass to no avail, but they get control back. They have dominated the second period, and they got two goals to show for it. And now looking for a third as it comes out to the middle. Nothing doing, as Faya is going to ice the puck and will go for a change. Bartram gets hit off the puck. Locke looking for the steal. Gambled for it. Now they got a three-on-two rush. Bartram getting back in the back check. Pass in front. Thrown to the slot ahead of Men Merrill. Ronan Locke takes control as the only goal of the night for the Big Blue so far. Locke with the interception on the pass. Can't get through the defense. Now here comes Joe Young trying to get around. Ryan got held, and they're going to go back on the power play as Swamp Scott takes another penalty once they get possession. Delayed penalty still to come. Could have been called another penalty on Bartram there. I'm not sure if they called it or not. They got six skaters out with that net empty. Swamp Scott can't get possession as Young takes it in, takes the shot. Nobody there. Swamp Scott can't get possession of the puck here. Thrown in front. 
And finally, Ronan Locke gets possession. And the Big Blue will go to the penalty kill for the rest of the second period. 2.09 to go with two minutes on the power play. Masco one for one on the power play. Swamps got unable to stop them on their initial chance with Brady Ford tapping in the third goal for Masco. Mertz, Weitzman, Merrill, Giuliano, and Cerboni out there for Masco. Ben Tolosa took the penalty. Shot goes wide from the slot. Papalardo gets to it first. Clears it out of the zone with the final tap made by Derek Fea, who's really hustling to get back. But now Masco has big numbers as Giuliano got by Fea. Giuliano slows down the tempo, looking for the perfect pass. Gets it back to the point, Cerboni. Back to Giuliano. Throws it in front. And Young takes control. Or excuse me, Ford. And Cerboni with the wrister looking for a tip. Gets actually blocked by his teammate looking for the tip. Papalardo clears it out of the zone. And we have a whistle as the net is off of its pegs. 1.16 to go in the period with 1.08 to go on the penalty. Giuliano ahead. The shot, and it's 4-1 to one Masco as they get another power play goal, this time on another tip shot out in front. And it is 4-1 to one Masco with 104 to go in the second period. A disaster in the second period as Swampscott is now trailing by three, coming to the period tied. So they got a ton of work to do in the final frame of this one, 104 Again in the second, four to one. Papalardo having his second start of the season. Shut out win in his first. And that is not icing as Papalardo takes it behind his own net. Forty-six seconds to go. Nice move there by Locke into the neutral zone, but can't get around the second defender. Locke takes it on the right boards, take goes down from the collision from the boards. Papalardo gets it to Bartram. Bartram takes it in, drops it for Sprague, looking for Locke in front, and they score! So they get one back before the end of the period. Ronan Locke with his second off the beautiful feed by Aiden Sprague, and it makes it four to two as Swampscott keeps hope alive, down by two with, 14, with 19 seconds to go in the period. Beautiful shift there to end the period by Sprague, Bartram, and Locke as Locke gets his second of the game. And Sprague and Bartram as well with the assist too for both of them on both of Locke's, goal, Locke's goals. They'll stay out there to finish the period with 19.7 to go. Sprague has the puck get caught in his stick or his skates off of the draw. Giuliano throws it ahead. Hitchcock trickles it into the middle. Bartram battling for it against the wall as they're trying to kill the clock here in the second. Three seconds to go. And the period's going to end. Four to two, Masco as Swampscott gets some momentum going into the third, scoring with just 19 seconds to go in the period, but still have a two-goal deficit to come back from when we fi enter the final 15 minutes of this one.
Aiden Sprague will take the draw as Locke and Bartram are on with him. Locke takes control off of the draw. Can't find Sprague in the neutral zone. Popolardo is going to take it out of the zone by himself. Gets it to Locke on the left side. Can't find a pass to Sprague. Merrill chasing into the corner with Ryan, and we're going to get an interference penalty. Or actually, we're going to get an icing, sorry, as the Big Blue will get an offensive zone faceoff. Draw gets tied up. It comes to Locke, who couldn't get the, stick, got the puck on his stick for the shot. And now flying down the left side goes Jack Mertz and Popolardo will have to cover. Excuse me, Ben Merrill going down the left side. Bartram looking to play the puck ahead. Can't get it by. And he just fires it. So Sprague fired it into the big blue bench. And Masco will get the offensive zone faceoff. Less than a minute into the third period. 4-2 to two Masco. Oh, bad pass. Landry couldn't control it. Fea chips it into the zone momentarily. Bad bounce comes down to the middle. Now a score on the play. And that could put the dagger in. Still plenty of time for three goals. But a bad bounce leads to a two-on-one goal by Joe Young, his uh, third of the season. Five to two, Masco. Masco wins the draw, looking for a sixth. Puck is loose in front. Hitchcock finally settles it. Fayo gets it ahead to Langevin. Langevin cannot stick handle around two defenders. Fay is going to take a one-timer blocked in front by Max Conley. Dakota Langevin playing the body on the boards. Hits another guy but can't get him off the puck. Hitchcock. Off the skate of Roddy. Roddy still fighting for it. Gets it out of the zone and will go for a change. Masco trying to hustle as Big Blue gets their third line out there. Fly ball thrown in on Popolardo and he'll have to take the face off. 5-2 to two here with 12.54 to go. Now at the point in closing, and shot never got through from Anthony Cerboni. Hurley will collect it behind his net. Fitzpatrick will reverse to Tolosa. Can't handle the puck on its side. Hurley clears, gets it to Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick takes it up the right side, gets poke checked, and Hurley can't get it in deep. Pass off the skate. Baljankov trying to find it in his skates. Tolosa gets it ahead. Now a shot from the left is blocker to side by Papalardo.
Now looking for a sixth is Masco, trying to get it in front. Good play there by Tolosa, but the shot and a goal. What a rocket by Ben Merrill. Makes the score 6-2 with 11.40 to go in the game. And Swamp Scott now getting blown out here at the Rocket Arena, 6-2. to two. Tough night for the Big Blue as Masco's added two to their lead in the opening minutes of the third period. An absolute rocket of a shot as the puck oscillated to the left point to Ben Merrill who put it top shelf over the glove of Papalardo. Now looking for a seventh one right off the draw and they get it. Ben Merrill once again. And it's seven to two Masco. Ronan Locke. And Sacco's going to take the face off in his own zone. 7 to 2 Masco. As they have just had an onslaught of offense in this third period. Three goals within the first three minutes, 37 seconds. Pass floated through to Gavin Dupois, looking for a shot. Makes a move around one, but can't get it past Papalardo. Steal in the neutral zone. This is James Whitman. Could not get around Papalardo. And... Hitchcock couldn't keep it in, so now it's a rush down the left side and a good block by Frankie Papalardo on the shot. Looking for a tip in front was Giuliano. Couldn't find one, did not get through. Ronan Locke's going to take it out of the zone himself. Looking for his third of the night. He gets into the boards and we have a whistle and a penalty that's going to go against Masco and Swampscott will have their first power play of the night down by five. I believe it was Whitman on the penalty. Swampscott will have two minutes on the power play with 10-14 to go trailing by five. Hitchcock makes a nice play to keep it in the zone. Puck stays in play off the deflection. Pass too far for Roddy. Hitchcock's going to keep it in. Langervain trying to get it down deep for Roddy. Cannot, and it's cleared, and Locke will carry it. He's going to take it all the way behind his goaltender. Looking for a play to make. He'll take it himself. Flips it through the neutral zone to Fea, who can't corral it. But it's kept in at the point. Roddy with the one-timer and a save made by Sacco. And a nice one as Roddy got open in the slot. Off the feed of Derek Fea. Could not put that one home. Logan McKenna got the assist on the last goal for Masco. Landrain tips the draw back. Hitchcock. Hitchcock looking. Gets it across for Locke. Locke's going to shoot it. It did not get off it. He fouled it off and covered by Sacco.
Roddy gets it back to the point for Hitchcock. Hitchcock to Faya. Faya gets rushed initially. Gets hit off the puck and it's cleared away. Hitchcock wins the race to it. Hitchcock's going to take it himself through the neutral zone. Gets a clean entry. 34 seconds left on the penalty. Ronan gets it up top. Ronan Lock has two goals already. Flips it to Hitchcock for the one-timer. And a nice save by Joe Sacco. And he covers it up with 30 or 22 seconds left in the penalty of James Whitman. Now Swamp Scott emptying their bench a bit. They'll get the fourth line, a shift Wood. Actually, it's the third line with Wood Hurley and Ryan Frary. So two of the fourth line members with Hurley. 16 seconds to go on the power play. Locke loses the puck momentarily, gathers it back for Hitchcock. Thrown in front, looking for a tip and an own goal as trying to gather it was Masco, but they could not, and it bounced into their own net. We'll see who they reward the goal to, and it's 7-3 with 8.21 to go. Looked like Ryan Ferry was the closest to it. We'll see who they award it to. Hitchcock shot it. It got tipped. It may have gotten tipped. I believe they're going to count that as a power play goal as well. Ronan Locke gets credit for the goal, so he has a hat trick as that puck comes in. Unassisted goal from Ronan Locke gets his second hat trick of the year. Whoa, that's going to be a penalty. That was just a frustration cross check. And big, the Big Blue are going to go back on the power plays. That was a really not a very good penalty to take with 7.48 to go up by four in frustration. Zach Ryan got cross checked to the ground. And Ben Merrill, who has, I believe, two or three goals in this game, will go to the penalty box. It's right in front of the official. Everyone saw it that was watching the game. And he goes to the box, and Swamp Scott will get another power play. They scored on their last, still trailing by four with 7.48 to go. Masco gets the clear past Sprague. Locke gets hit off the puck, but Sprague will be first to it. Sprague's going to take it himself through the neutral zone. Gets a clean entry. Now trying to get it back to the point. And it's past Langevin and out of the zone. So Swamp Scott will have to regroup. Ronan Locke speeds through the neutral zone. Looking for his fourth of the night. Looking to make a play. Gets it across to Sprague. Sprague gets it back from Faya. Sprague looking for an outlet. Gets it to Ronan Locke. Thrown into the skates and cleared away by Michael Berrigan. 55 seconds go on the power play of the Big Blue. Roddy's going to take it from Locke. Roddy's going to take it through the neutral zone. And it gets cleared as they could not get a clean entry in. Ronan Locke with 37 seconds to go on the power play. Gets hit off the puck. Without a stick is Young, so he could not get to it. Offsides is the call. 30 seconds to go on the power play. 6.17 to go overall. As Swamp Scott Trills still trails by four. As Hurley and Frary come on with Ryan Wood. Ronan Locke slams his stick in frustration. Frary passes ahead of Bartram. Or excuse me, of yeah, that is Bartram out there. Not Ryan Wood, my mistake. F 
Freire could not get the soft first touch. A good play there by Hurley. Gets it into the zone. Bartram can't get the shot off. Gets it back and does. And it's gloved by Sacco. And there's one second remaining on the Masco penalty. The big blue power play. 5.48 to go. As Woody will come on. Swamp's got trills by four. Right off the draw, Masco looking for a shot. Whistles wide of Papillardo. The pass thrown in front, a miss on the shot, and Papillardo makes a save. And we'll cover it up. 5.27 left. Frankie Papillardo gets it around the boards to Freire, who gets hit off the puck. His puck is not cleared from the zone. Nice stick check there by Woody. Excuse me. Bartram again. Sorry. As Young gets hit off the puck by Locke. No call. Looking for a hook. Bartram. Shovels it out, can't get it cleared, still can't get it cleared, as now a rush to into the middle. Papalardo makes the save, initially thrown back in front, battle for it, it's still loose in front, and Papalardo taps it ahead to Ronan Lock, two on two rush with Jackson Bartram, Lock's going to try to take it himself, takes the shot from the left point on an awkward angle, nothing doing there, puck gets loose in front, and Jackson Bartram taps it in for his first goal of the night. And credit Ronan Locke with his fourth point of the night on the assist. Or excuse me, Aiden Sprague with his third point of the night on the assist to Jackson Bartram. And it is Sprague now with three assists on the night. Michael Berrigan looking for a goal of his own. A beautiful pass in front. Could not be controlled and it goes wide. Hitchcock with 3.54 to go. Langevin gets it out of the big blue zone. McCarthy... Floats it out of play, and the faceoff will come outside of the Masco zone. <laughs> TJ McCarthy gets it to Langevin, who gets it to Fea. Off the skate of Roddy. It's been a frustrating night for the line of Langevin, Faye, and Roddy. Have not been able to get on that score scoreboard yet. The team's leading scoring line as that one gets fired out of play. And it will go into the big blue zone for the faceoff. 3.19 to go. Swamp's got trails by three. Third line out there of Fitzpatrick, Hurley, and Palchenkov. And now speeding up the right wing come, Ma comes Masco. Hitchcock got a stick on that shot attempt. Throwing back in front. A good play with the stick from Hitchcock once again. Matty Rogers throws it in front. Now Hitchcock has a three on two with 
Fitzpatrick, Bajnikov dropping out of the play. Hitchcock takes it all the way around the goal, looking for a pass. It gets kicked to the blue line. Ryan keeps it in momentarily. Hitchcock battling to keep it in, cannot. As a long shot gets blocked down by Greg Belgenkoff. 2.25 to go. Zach Ryan through the big blue end. Now pass just a bit too far ahead, but still in control of the puck and through the slot and a save made by Popolardo. One of the best of the night for him. We are under two minutes to play. Ben Tolosa will have to chase the puck down as the first line on. Pass past lock. And the shot's going to fly out of play. 7 to 4 with 136 to go in the game. Bartram can't get it or can get it ahead as Locke takes control. He's got a two-on-one building with Sprague. Passed in front. Sprague couldn't get the backhand shot off as he had two defenders chasing him. Thrown in front looking for Locke. Gets batted down nicely by Brady Ford. Tolosa first of the puck. Gets it back around the net. Bartram has to sprint back to get it. Gets it taken away, the wraparound, looking for a pass in front, is Young. Ryan clears the zone for Sprague. Sprague floats it, looking for Ronan Locke, can't get it. Young fights, battles him off the puck. Under 35 seconds to go in this one. Swamp Scott's going to fall to 4-3 and three here at home as they will lose to Masco if this score holds up 7-4. to four. And Masco will move to 4-2, and two, winning back-to-back -back games. And now the puck comes free, looking for a quick breakaway to end this one. Young gets tripped up and... It is a penalty. We'll see if they give him a penalty shot or not. If not, it will be Popolardo going to the box. They gave him a hook. And they're going to give him two minutes instead of the penalty shot with just seven seconds to go. So Swamp Scott falls seven to four as three goals in the third period ice the game for Masco. Throwing back in front, looking for another one, but Locke just dumps it down, and that will run out the clock as Masco wins 7-4 for Swamp Scott. Ronan Locke with another hat trick. He had three, and Jackson Bartram adding the other. Three assists from Sprig. Bartram had the other two as the first line accounted for all four of the Swamp Scott goals as Masco takes this one 7-4. That will be it from us at Swamp Scott Big Blue Athletics. Thank you for joining us. Our next game, if this is posted by then, is Friday with Boys Basketball.